Welcome, this is the CCNA Cyber Ops Technology course for SecOps 210-255 from INE. My name is Andrew Krauthemmel. I am a network engineer of over 10 years and a Cisco instructor. This is the course prerequisites and overview. Some prerequisites for the course include the prior course, SecFund 210-250. If you have not taken that course, please go back and check that one out first. You also need a basic understanding of technology and computers. Hopefully some exposure to servers and networks, maybe in a small environment or a small business. And hopefully an interest in security. This is the Cyber Ops certification. And so both courses, SecFund and SecOps, are all about security. So what is CCNA CyberOps? CCNA CyberOps is an associate level certification by Cisco provided for security minded individuals interested in working in a security operations center or security team. There are two exams in the certification, the SecFund 210-250 and the SecOps 210-255. Once you take both exams and pass them, you will then be bestowed the CCNA CyberOps certification from Cisco. The topics that we will discuss throughout this course will build upon what we've learned in the SecFund course. So we take that base fundamental knowledge of networking and the security landscape and some of the tools and resources you can use, and we build upon that by talking about threat analysis. Now that we've gathered some data and we know what we're monitoring, how do we analyze the threats and find the attacks that are coming in? What if there's a breach in our network and we need to evaluate what has happened and we need to investigate a computer we can go through and provide forensics on that device. We'll talk about intrusion analysis. Not just the threats that may be occurring, but the actual active intrusions coming in. What do they look like? What protocols do they use? How do they attack? We'll discuss NetFlow and IP Fix, which are protocols used for gathering connection data from your various devices. We'll also discuss incident response. How would you go about responding to a currently active incident or one that has occurred and you're providing a posthumous incident report on it? We'll talk about response teams, the different types of response teams, the different ones that are out there, the national teams, and provide some overview as to what they do and how they benefit the community. We'll also discuss compliance. Not everyone's most favorite thing, but we'll talk about some of those compliance requirements such as PCI and HIPAA. We'll also discuss profiling, taking a look at how your systems are initially when everything is okay, and then what is going on with them during an attack, and comparing those values and finding out what's different. We'll also talk about data analysis, how to go through and take a look at your data, dive into it, and evaluate the attacks and what has happened to your data throughout an attack. And finally, we'll talk about categorization. How do you categorize different threats and attacks in different ways using different models? I hope you'll join me in this course in finalizing your knowledge for the CCNA CyberOps certification and passing your exam.